Hello, Splorsville. It is a day, and today there's a little less of David Pastilnik than there was yesterday. This morning, David woke up to a whimpering sound from his white poodle named Misha. He walked down the hallway to the kitchen where Misha had a, a pillow that she slept on right next to the kitchen sink. When he saw her, he was reminded of a large pile of good and plenties. She was covered in blood in a mottled way. The pillow, too, had been completely soaked through, making the floral patterns very decadent. Misha looked confused and like she was chewing something, and David noticed that a good amount of blood was coming from her mouth. He pinched the sides of her mouth, and he used his finger like a hook, kind of scooping from the back of the tongue forward. He couldn't tell what it was when he pulled it out. It looked all bent up like a piece of scrap metal. As urgency set in, he pocketed whatever it was and scooped up Misha and brought her out to the back of his Volvo. It was only after he arrived at Doc Juarez's and Misha had been settled that he noticed that the very tip of his index finger had come clean off. When he washed it off in the sink, it was this beautiful red circle with a, a tiny peaking of bone, a little white speck right in the middle. It struck him as a funny thing to need a doctor when he was in a veterinarian's office, but he did catch himself before he asked Doc Juarez whether he needed a real doctor. So Doc Juarez treated them both side by side, and soon enough David remembered the piece of metal that he'd brought along in his pocket. Looking at it now in a calmer state, he realized that it was a razor blade, the sort that you'd find in a disposable razor. Misha had found it on the ledge of the bathtub. David had recently taken to shaving in the shower, but had run out of room on his little shelf because he brought a much too large size bottle of shampoo. She had snapped through the plastic casing and the razor had lacerated her tongue. As Doc Juarez explained it, razors are kind of funny in that they're so sharp that the dog couldn't feel it cutting into her tongue. But she tasted the blood, and she associated that with what she was eating, and that caused her to chew even more. And David understood all of this perfectly, of course, because he hadn't felt the razor cut off the tip of his finger while he tried to scoop it out. Misha's tongue was cut up, but it was going to be okay. Tongues have a miraculous way of healing themselves. As for the tip of David's finger, Doc Juarez recommended that David take a stick to Misha's evacuations for the next couple days. Not so much because anything could be done at this point, but maybe to give it a proper burial. After much debate and revelry, really, the dandelion was chosen as the high school mascot. The Splorsville swim team, however, requested the Maidmer designation, so there's still life in that one left. Now that the themes are chosen, we need a final representation of each, and, and those need to be ready for printing. In the entrepreneurial spirit of the town, it seems only right that whoever puts in that work should be the one to sell them. I trust the town has a way to make that happen, but we also have other things to think of. A new mascot means that the school needs a new song to sing, and as far as I can see, we have neither words nor music, both of which are requirements for a song. Well, that's a puzzle, isn't it? How's that one going to happen? I'll leave you with the Splorsville motto. Let's find out.